KRHD News. One of the topics of discussion at Thursday night's College Station City Council meeting was Northgate. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Garrett Hoddle. The entertainment district and surrounding neighborhoods have been a cause for concern for police and firefighters as more people are getting hurt. Our KRHD reporter Rebecca Fiedler is taking a closer look at what first responders would like to see change. College Station police and firefighters put together an extensive data-driven report that was presented to City Council Thursday night, relaying how first responders have been seeing an uptick in arrests and injuries in the Northgate area. This work is taken on in particular by bicycle unit police officers and paramedics. Paramedics like Nick Sutton of the College Station Fire Department. He and his colleagues will regularly jump right from their day shift ambulances to their night shift bikes and clock the overtime necessary to patrol Northgate. So everybody thinks that Northgate is all intoxicated people and, and, um, and a good majority of it is intoxicated, but we've also seen a higher uh, rise in assaults um, traumatic injuries, people falling down and getting hurt, not only from, not, not just because they're intoxicated, just because large crowds and there are obstacles. While Sutton doesn't mind doing the work, the recent spike in crime, illness and injury, and the general crowding are hard to manage, according to the report, especially when it comes to funding and staffing the responders necessary to patrol the bar district on weekends. The police and fire departments have posed a series of short and long-term solutions they'd like the city council to consider, such as requiring businesses to have cameras, wanding customers, and making last call for drinks earlier. It's not fair to the businesses. That's where they make most of their monies at the end of the night when people are trying to buy their last drink, stuff like that. It's, it, I, I don't find it fair. College Station resident Carson Sever, who is an occasional customer of the bars and restaurants, says that while some changes may be good, he wants the city to be deliberate about how they're addressing the root of the problem. Structure upgrade probably is going to be a good thing, but at the same time, I don't want that infrastructure to be used incorrectly. Those upgrades suggested by the departments include improvements to crosswalks, bike lanes, and completed sidewalks. One Northgate apartment resident says she can see how changes to the area might improve safety. I literally almost got hit the other day because someone just like basically rolled through a stop sign. The crosswalks aren't very good. Um, like I don't, the one that I cross at is like marked by like, I guess the cobblestone kind of, but it's not actually marked by like paint. One major point of the presentation notes that the tax revenue gained by the Northgate businesses annually is under $250,000, while the expenses of keeping bike cops and bike paramedics are nearly $2.8 million. The City Council will revisit the report later this year. Reporting in College Station, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News.